Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to map the uh, global tree cover data based on the Hansen um, uh, first cover data, uh, which is published at the uh, Science Journal. Um, and so we're going to um, use the, the Hansen uh, global first change data on the Google Earth Engine uh, Cloud API. And so this data is published um, um, on, on Science Journal, um, high resolution global maps of 20th century forest cover change. Um, and so it has multiple layers. Uh, today we're gonna look at the tree cover uh, percentage, uh, tree canopy cover percentage um, from zero to 100%, uh, depending on uh, uh, tree canopy cover. Uh, uh, so by the end of this tutorial, uh, we're going to have something like this. So we're going to um, uh, display, um, you know, import the, the image collection and display uh, tree cover uh, map for the entire planet. Uh, so let's get started. So before we get started, I'll uh, go ahead and copy this image collection from the Earth Engine data archive uh, and then create a variable. Um, so let's create that variable as data set and so this is the image collection uh, which has um, you know multiple dates as you can see here uh, the date starts from 2000 to, to 2022 um, so you can pick any any given year uh, from this image collection um, so that's our first um, let's see okay and then that's our image collection but before we visualize uh, i would like to uh, import uh, the countries database so I'll create a, a variable called countries and um, ee feature collection that's a earth engine feature collection and i'll provide the um, countries uh, image collection um, data data set uh, which is already on earth engine uh, hosted on earth engine so this data contains a shape file for administrative boundaries for all countries um, so we'll be using this data to clip the the forest the Hansen forest cover data and so the next step is actually to um, display our, our um, you know forest cover um, and let's just uh, go ahead and do that. So to do that, I'll create a map, add layer, and then I'll call our data set here. And I'll, I'll use this um, countries database to clip our um, forest cover data. So I'll clip by. Uh, I'll provide a shape file that I want to apply the clip feature, which is the countries database. Um, and to visualize the forest cover, I'll have to provide um, a few uh, visualization parameters. Um, so before that, let's create a curly bracket to store our visualization parameters. So I'll provide the bands. And so which panda I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use in this uh, tree cover data. So if you look at the Hansen data, it has tree cover percentage, loss and gain. So I have to uh, select this layer for now for this example. So I'm gonna um, select a tree cover. Okay. And then the next parameter in my visualization, um, uh, um, visualization parameter is uh, or dictionary is a palette so I'll provide the colors that I would like to um, use to display the tree cover data and to store that I'll create a square bracket or list of uh, color codes so I'll create um, so this is darker image for the you know areas that have uh, lower uh, tree cover or no tree, co uh, tree cover uh, and the uh, areas with maximum 
um, to recover 100% closer to that, I'll just uh, apply green. So green color code here. And so the next input in this visualization parameters uh, to define the minimum and maximum values. So I'll say uh, the maximum is, it's a percentage, so 100. And then at last, I would also uh, provide a title um, for this layer. And that should be it. Um, okay. So one thing, um, let's go ahead and execute this. Okay, so there's some uh, issue with our color code, I guess. Um, so let's see. Okay, so color code. Oh, we have a typo here, I think. That's why. Okay, excellent. So, um, this is how uh, we can, you know, display uh, the um, tree cover. So, as you can see, um, you know, uh, darker green, um, sorry, light green um, is uh, areas with, um, you know, high forest cover and um, you know black or dark areas non forest uh, non forest tree cover canopy so you can see the you know uh, congo basin uh, you know the amazon basin as you can see uh, was um, uh, green color and so one of the things you might uh, do is um, to display you know the country's layer over uh, this tree cover so let's just uh, create another visualization um, so let's create a map add layer uh, ee image paint so i'll call countries here this shape file i'll try to overlay that here and um, so i'll create there in one uh, and again i'll try to create a, a curly bracket for uh, storing uh, my visualization parameter palette. Um, I'll provide a color for this um, shape file. I'll just say red. Um, and lastly, um, you know, the layer name here countries boundary. And, and I'll also adjust the, uh, you know, map center object. This is just to um, adjust the zoom level uh, when we execute this code. So there's some typo over here, which we need to fix. Okay. So now what's going to do this is it will uh, display uh, the country's, um, uh, each country boundary over the tree cover layer. That way, if you're interested to look at, um, you know, uh, you know, keep uh, exploratory visualization for for of tree cover for each country you can do so by executing this uh, bit of code okay so it's loading here let's just wait a little bit all right excellent okay so as i mentioned uh you can see now the red color is the country's boundary for every country um so for example here uh you can see you know kenya um, South Sudan, uh, Sudan here, um, and Congo Basin here, uh, DRC, uh, and so yeah, this will help you to um, kind of um, visualize the tree cover for a specific country. For example, here, if you want to look at Zambia, here, and um, um, for example, if you want to go to the you know North America. You can see um, 
uh, or South America here. Um, you can see you know, Brazil, uh, the Amazon forest. So that's just one example um, uh, how to display tree global tree cover and also visualize you know, country's boundary overlaid on top of uh, that. So um, that's how you uh, display uh, uh, global tree cover data uh, based on the Hansen, um, um, the Hansen, um, um, the Hansen product, uh, which is published on the Science uh, Journal, uh, the um, to to load and display uh, on the Lerzingen uh, Cloud Computing API.